Hello students, welcome back to the biology class. So in the last class we continued the chapter 8 that is the human health and diseases and we covered the topic of cancer in the last class. We learned that the normal cells uh, have a particular lifespan to survive but the cancerous cells are, are the one which, are, which have uh, broken this, have uh, lost this characteristic and they continue to survive for a long time and they continue to divide also. We learned that a normal cell is replaced by new cells accordingly the life cycle of the cell continues and this happens because of cell division and cell differentiation. But we learned that the cancerous cells only continue to divide but they do not differentiate. So there is uncontrolled and uh, non-regulated cell division followed not by the cell differentiation. So there, because of this there develops a mass of cell uh, which is called as neoplasm or tumor. So normal cells show a property of contact inhibition. We learned that contact inhibition is a property in which once a cell makes contact with a fixed number of cells around it then the surrounding cell will, will, uh, will, make, will ensure that that cell does not divide anymore. This property is present of this property of contact inhibition is present in the normal cell but a cancerous cell loses this property so it does not carry the property of contact inhibition. Uh, we also learn that there are uh, there are types of tumor so this new growth is called as neoplasm also called as tumor. We learn that all tumors are not cancerous because there are two types of tumors possible benign tumor which are non-malignant or non-cancerous and then uh, malignant tumors which are cancerous tumor. We learn that the benign tumor only remain restricted to the location where it starts and it does not spread throughout the body. Reason it does not have the property of metastasis. Metastasis property is found only in the cancerous tumor. So malignant tumors are the more dangerous one because they perform they are able to spread through the vascular tissue throughout the body and wherever they will uh, fix they will start making another tumor. So that's why benign tumor are less damage causing to the body compared to the malignant tumor. We learned the properties of cancer that the cancerous cells have uncontrolled growth ability and uh, their reduced requirement of extracellular growth factors and they are able to invade new sites by the property of metastasis and they even resist the induction of the planned or programmed cell death which I told is called as apoptosis. Now there are types of cancers we learned in the last class and I told that 80% of the cancers are basically the carcinomas. So all epithelial cell or you can say ectodermal originated cell uh, when they undergo uh, cancerous growth it is called as carcinomas. And we learned the second type which is called as the sarcomas. Sarcomas are the cancerous growth of tissues which develop from mesoderm. So it basically con uh, includes connective tissue along with the muscles. And we learned that the blood cancer is also called as leukemias. There are other terms also we covered in the last class like uh, melanomas, adenocarcinomas, myoma, glioma, and I told that the 4th February is considered as uh, world over as the cancer day. We also learned that there are two main type of cancers which are common among Indian men and women and that is throat and mouth cancer among men and uterine and cervical cancer among females in human, uh, in Indian humans. Then the uh, causes of cancer also we learned in the last class that there are agents which are called as carcinogens. Carcinogens are the agents that can cause cancer and depending upon their mode of action they are called as oncogenic transformers, tumor promoters and tumor viruses and depending upon their nature they can be physical irritants or chemical agents or radiations even the biological agents also. We learned that there are uh, there are examples such as kangri used by Kashmiris which may cause abdominal skin cancer then betel nut uh, and tobacco chewing uh, may cause oral cancer. Then there are chemicals like nicotine, caffeine, uh, pesticides, asbestos, nickel etc. And dry the dye workers have the high risk of developing the bladder cancer. 
and chimney sweepers tend to develop the scrotum cancer. So in the same manner there are radiations also which are ionizing radiations like x-ray, gamma rays and then non-ionizing radiations such as UV rays they can cause easily the skin cancer and we have the biological agents like some viruses, excessive secretion of hormones, even parasites also that may tend to develop or promote cancerous growth in the host organism. Then now the diagnosis, we learned that the detection and the diagnosis uh, detection and the diagnosis of the cancer can be done easily with the help of biopsy. In biopsy, histopathological tests are conducted. So in this case, thin slices of the tissue is taken and then examined with the help of endoscopy. Uh, even cytological staining is done. Even radiography is used. CT and MRI are mentioned in the NCRT. In CT, uh, there is 3D image of internal parts developed to understand or detect the uh, or diagnose the cancerous growth and in the case of MRI magnetic field and non ionizing rays are used for detection of the cancer. We also learned about the treatment of the cancer that the cancer can be treated with the help of surgery uh, by the removal of the entire cancerous tissue even by radiation therapy where the tumors are irradiated with lethally with the help of heavy dose of x-rays uh, but taking protection or care of the surrounding normal tissue of the body and chemotherapy uh, anti-cancerous drugs are administered into the body and these drugs have side effects like hair loss anemia etc and then immunotherapy is also possible in which biological response modifier which NCRT calls as alpha interferons are used to activate the immune system and we learned that there is a mixture of all these possible like surgery and radiation surgery and chemotherapy any of these combinations are used for treatment of cancer.